Marco Polo, Ferdinand Magellan, Christopher Columbus all used to take months and a small fleet to taste the spices of Asia. What I love about Toronto is that it takes me 10 minutes to taste the cuisine of Tibet. Hey guys, today we're in Parkdale, Toronto to try out a local Nepalese restaurant, Narling. Today we'll be having the beef momos, chili chicken, and blood sausage. My name's Eddie. And I'm Essen. And here's what, what we, we dig. dig. at Norling, which is the corner of Queen and Jameson. Now, Norling is a traditional Tibetan restaurant that has a chef that was trained in Tibet growing up. In this area, lots of Tibetans, and also uh, nowadays the Tibetan food is very popular, I think so. So, uh, also I want to advertise the Tibetan cultures and Tibetan food, so that's the reason that I start with the Tibetan foods. They cook a lot of traditional home-cooked foods there. They cook momos, they cook a lot of stuff you'd expect to get from a Tibetan restaurant, but it really has that home-cooked feel. The owners have that ideal Canadian story of being so well-traveled. They went from Tibet to India to Halifax, then took over this restaurant a few years ago to serve Tibetan food. So if you're in the Parkdale region and you're looking on going for a bit of an adventure to Tibet, try out Norling and enjoy your food. What are we having today? Uh, we're having a um, bean momo. The preparation is first we have to roll in the dough, leave it for a while. Main time we prepare the meat, ground beef, some onions, some cilantro, and some salt. Mix it well together mm -hmm. and then we make it. Awesome. And then steam it for 10 minutes, so we're ready to serve. So if you're looking to try the momos, just as it was recommended to us by the chef here, make sure you add, you use some of the chili sauce, the salad that it comes with, as well as a little bit of soy sauce, um, and just put it right into your mouth hole. It, you, it will pay off. Their momos are a great size, super juicy, and then the meat just created this hearty symphony between the outer shell and the stuffing. The next dish is sausage. Uh, it's called blood sausage, Tibetan blood sausage. It's very uh, popular too. First we have to put some flowers and some rice uh, and ground beef and some blood and mix it all together. They fill it in the casing and then steam it for 35 minutes. Okay. So it's ready. We had the blood sausage. And the flavors that stick out the most, of course, is the well-cooked beef. So you, you taste the beef and you definitely um, taste the rice and they go really well together. If you're at this restaurant and you're in the mood for a little bit of an adventure, give it a try. The last thing we're doing is chili chicken. We have different kind of spicy level, medium, mild and spicy. And first thing we have to bring the chicken, Thai chicken, uh, just cut it small pieces. Mm -hmm. Uh, put some salt and some spicy and some flowers and deep fry it and then we stir fry and it's ready. The dry chili chicken which we asked to have made a little bit spicier definitely had a kick. So if you have a friend or loved one that likes a little bit of heat, ask them to kick it up a bit on the dry chili chicken. Chicken, it was cooked to perfection and I felt like you could just eat as plates and plates full of it. So when we got to Norling, we asked the owners, what does Norling mean? And the explanation they gave, Nor means precious and Ling means together. So literally translated, Norling means everything precious together. How's that for food for thought? That's been this episode of What We Dig. If you like us, hit that like button. If you want to see more of us, hit that subscribe button. You can also check out our website, which is www.whatwedigtoday.com. We can see a map of Toronto. Click on the link and watch a video directly. We also have a podcast that's on all major podcast platforms where you can hear extended interviews with chefs and owners. Otherwise, my name's Laird. I'm Eddie. And I'm Essen. And we'll see you next time.